So breaking news tonight, parents at a Nashville daycare are furious and wanting answers after multiple kids were treated in the emergency room following a carbon monoxide leak at their preschool. Yeah, how scary is that? Hmm. WSMV4 investigative reporter Stacy Cameron spoke to one of the upset parents who said her infant son was back in the hospital today. Yeah, Lydia and Maria's parents got an alert from the daycare around 10, warning them about the leak at the school, saying children were being evacuated. But the mom I talked to says when she got there less than an hour later, her son was back in his class and she fears he was still breathing that poison gas that now has the infant boy sick. When Elm Hill Academy messaged parents like Elizabeth Egan about a leak at her son's daycare. Terrified. She rushed to the school to pick up 10 month old Hollis and when he didn't seem well. He looked a little pale. Egan took Hollis to the ER at Vandy where the infant boy was diagnosed with CO poisoning and at the hospital Egan met another mom whose child was at the daycare at the time of the leak. That kid had already thrown up three times. Egan and other parents tell WSMV4 that they've learned Elm Hill didn't have carbon monoxide detectors and the leak was discovered when another parent walked into the daycare with their own CO detector. If that parent hadn't walked in and that alarm go off, I don't know where Hollis would be. Now another parent I spoke to this afternoon shared an email with me that she says she sent to the daycare's director claiming she was worried about a possible seal leak back in early November, but she says nothing was done. Both mothers have since pulled their children out of that school. And just a little while ago, I got a message from the State Department of Health saying they're aware of the leak and their investigation is pending. I did reach out to Elm Hill to ask about the leak, but I've not heard back. We'll keep digging to find out what happened. I'll let you know what I uncover. Live in the studio, I'm investigative reporter Stacey Cameron. Stacey, I'm sure you're going to be all over this one. Thank you.